Pete, these risk beads, can you tell us about them? Sure. Uh, the risk beads are really the story of Jesus and his relevance to the world. So the first one we have here is the gold bead. And the gold bead tells us that we came out of the heart of God. So that's the gold one there. In making these, what I've found is it works better to put spaces in between each of the different colours. The second colour is the grey or the brown one, which reminds us that we fell under a curse. So that's the grey one there, where we fell under a curse. And then the next one after that reminds us that Jesus broke the power of the curse, and that's the red one. So the red one tells us that he gave his life to break the power of that curse. Some people like to talk about the fact that his blood that was shed is what broke the power of it, but either way, he gave his life to break the power of that curse. And then the next one here is the white one, that tells us that we are now free of the power of that curse. That we're able to actually experience freedom from it, or from its power, even though the curse is still at work in the world and in our lives. We're actually free from its power. We no longer have to live under that power. And so that's true for everyone. But there's still one problem remaining, and that's what the rainbow bead is all about. The rainbow bead tells us that what is true can become real when we surrender to Jesus and trust in him. In the same way that when a piece or a, a shaft of pure light is exposed to rain in the sky and what is true about the light becomes real mm. in the sense that we then see all of the colours of the rainbow brought out into, into the world for everyone to see. So the rainbow bead is a really crucial bead in this story.